Chinese New Year remains the most significant social and economic holiday for the Chinese. More than a billion Chinese celebrate the Chinese New Year annually, including a sixth of the world's population. A long standing tradition and celebration of Chinese culture and heritage over centuries of Chinese festivities. They love to celebrate this holiday not only in China but worldwide. Since the 2020 pandemic shutdown, Vancouver Chinatown is beaming with pride once again as politicians and the crowds having a fun-filled day to take in the first Lunar New Year parade, happy to welcome the Year of the Rabbit. Hi, I'm Manuel Abuel, aka Manny Noel Abuel. Thank you for joining me. According to Chinese tradition, each year they've named one of the 12 animals that represents their zodiac sign. The 2023 celebration of the Chinese New Year officially starts on January 22nd and is celebrated sometime between January 21st and February 19th. Since ancient times, the Chinese have celebrated this annual festival based on their Chinese calendar, which goes way back to the 14th century BCE of the Gregorian calendar. The 15-day festival starts on the second new moon after the winter solstice, celebrating the Lunar New Year or the Spring Festival. They believe starting the year right would make their lives better in terms of health and prosperity. People will see dragons everywhere because they believe they are said to have descended from these mythical creatures. The Chinese New Year resembles the Western customs of New Year's resolution as some of them will get a new haircut, several disagreements, or pay off debts to start the year fresh. Two animals, the dragon and the rabbit, are vital in celebrating Chinese New Year. They love to display paper lanterns in the shape of rabbits on the 15th of January to celebrate the Lanterns Festival, as this symbolizes the Chinese goddess Chang Wu, who is said to have brought a rabbit along with her when she jumped on the moon to prepare for Chinese New Year. Many of them wanted to make sure to have a clean house to rid themselves of bad luck and ghosts associated with the year that passed. They love cooking dumplings together with their loved ones the night before the celebration of the day because they believe dumplings will give them good fortunes for their household. Long noodles are also traditional New Year's dish as this symbolizes longer lifespan. Cutting the long noodles will shorten their lifespan. They also love dressing in red outfits for good luck and they avoid black clothes as this would mean death. I'm sure non-Chinese are only seeing a glimpse of how the Chinese celebrate this tradition, whether it is superstitious or a significant New Year's resolution. I'm Manuel Abuel. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now from downtown Vancouver.